VI is the editor for Linux and Unix. It's the default editor in Unix and Linux. And Vim is the new modern incarnation of VI. VIM stands for VI Improved, and it's the default editor on Linux-based systems. Now, it's a very, very powerful editor, but it's also a very difficult to learn editor. So there are, it's a very efficient editor. The keystrokes are minimalistic, but they are also hard to remember and hard to master. But once you master them, the power is immense. So that's what we are going to learn. We're going to learn the basics of uh, VI and Vim. Let's get going. <clears throat> okay, so here I have the a Unix terminal, Linux terminal. Uh, you could do this on Vi Windows also and Mac as well because Vim editor is available on all, all these platforms. So on the right hand side, I have my cheat sheet just to give you give my, me some uh, uh, information as to what I'm going to cover. So how do you start VI? Press VI, type VI, press enter, you're inside. So on my machine, VI and Vim are alias to each other, so it's the same editor. <coughs> as you can see, first question is how to quit. You should know how to quit, that's kind of important. And it says to quit, press shift colon Q. Okay, so let's do that. Colon Q, enter. So that we, we quit it, okay? Now, open it again. I'm just gonna type something random, right? And uh, now I wanna quit. And I don't remember, I don't know how to quit. Well, just remember colon Q. I press enter. It says no right since last change. Add exclamation sign to override. That's what we will do. Co colon, keep in mind, the way to exit is you press escape. Let me turn on my keyboard. Yeah, you press escape, colon, Q. That's not letting you. You press escape, colon, Q, exclamation sign. So that's what, how you quit without saving. Now, if you wanted to save, then you would use colon WQ, write and quit. We'll, we'll do that in a second. So let's uh, let's open VI again. And now I say, I'll just type something. To quit, I press escape, Q. There's no rights since last change. You want to save it? Yes, I do. So, W, escape, W, Q. It says no file name. So, you, I have to give it a file name. So, the way you do that is you press escape, colon, shift colon, that is, W, and then the name of a file. So, we will call this file.txt. And that wrote to the file.txt and Q. Now, quit. So this is how you uh, save and how you quit. If you press ls minus ltra, you will see that file.txt has been modified. Okay. All right. Um, there it is. So why do people use VI? Because first of all, it's the default editor on Linux, but it's also because it has really powerful commands. These com uh, commands are single characters or sometimes two characters combinations, but they're very short commands and they do uh, really powerful effects. They, they have really powerful effects. So let's take a look at that. Mm. Let's open this file, bigfile.txt. So vi bigfile.txt. Now, by the way, uh, let me say one more time, oh, one more thing. I am pressing. I just type first. 
two characters big and then or three characters and then press tab and that's doing command line completion so i open this file now at this point how do you navigate to first of all we, when you start in vi you are in command mode or if you are not in command mode you can go into command mode by pressing escape and command mode by default you should learn to be in command mode because we usually issue commands for more uh, most of the time and um, actual insertion and editing we do far less that's why uh, command mode should be your default state all right so now i am uh, navigating with j k so j moves down k moves up l is to the right and h is to the left so here l h okay now so that's that's navigation okay now if i want to go to the last line of the file again in command mode escape mode that is press shift g and that's the last line and the first line gg shift g last line gg first line okay so um, if you want to move forward by one word at a time press w this is one word i'm pressing w if you want to back move backward one word at a time press b b b b b here i am pressing b repeatedly if you want to move to the beginning of the line press zero if you want to move to the end of the line press dollar sign so these are movement commands okay now if you want to insert some text press i and now whatever text you want to enter if you want to undo the last change last edit press escape to get into command mode and u for undo so i insert escape u undo and if you want to append after this current character press a as an append and then whatever you type you can keep typing okay escape u will let you undo now if you want to insert at the beginning of the line as at the very beginning of the line you will use shift i capital i that is now you can type whatever you like escape u to undo if you want to append to the current line at the end of the line you press shift a and now you can type whatever you like if you want to open a new line between these two like below the current line basically then press o and now you can type you're in insert mode you can keep inserting i'm pressing enter and whatever okay now escape u will undo everything that we typed in the last during the last edit or insert session everything if you didn't mean to undo just press control r control r does the redo okay and now you can you know edit the rest of the stuff the way you like now so we saw that o opens a new line below the current line but shift o so if i'm on this line 3 and if press shift o then it opens a line above the current line and now of course you are in insert mode you can do whatever okay so <clears throat> so at this point we are familiar with the movement commands and let's look at the search command so if i want to search for let's say um for something so i type slash so you enter you type slash and then the word you are looking for s o m e let's say so sum if i want to repeat the search press n you want to repeat it again just press keep pressing n and at one at some point it will it will um, hit the end it did see search 
hit uh, the end of this file and now we are continuing at the top so we it wrapped uh, if you press shift n it goes in the opposite direction now there are a few other commands that are helpful with search if you type shift colon set hl search you don't have even have to type the whole thing just say hl and then se and then tab hl search as in highlight search press enter and now the search everything that matches the search is highlighted like that now you can also turn the current um, word into the search term by pressing star so if i i'm on this word line i press star and line has become the search term if i go to this and i want to see the next occurrence of something i don't have to type slash something i can just press star and it has become the search string so this is how you search back and forth okay so we have seen all the insert commands i a capital i capital a now let's look at r r replaces one character r let's say x so see it replaced one character escape u will undo it uh, now if you wanted to rep so once again r x or r uh, r y whatever r followed by whatever character you want to replace it with so that's what you will type so r is for single character but if you wanted to uh, keep replacing uh, with whatever you type the next character and the one after that and so on and so forth then you have to use shift r capital r and now whatever you type it just keeps replacing on the current line okay so that's shift r now one very useful command is dart you can go anywhere and uh, whatever you did last you can repeat it with a dart so i'm just going to press dart here and see i just press dart and it executed shift r whatever i can go here and press shift r uh, sorry press dart and it did shift r whatever and you will notice that the original had one more character than the replacement so that oh, oh, the previous character stays there i'm pressing dollar sign to go to the end of the line and zero to go to the beginning of the line okay so that's what r does uh, now if there are some other commands like you can see line number which s set n u and then tab so number set number you press enter and look every line has a line number now <clears throat> on the left you have the line numbers this is very helpful when you are trying to communicate with each other uh, with someone else which line number we are talking about okay so the other one is what if you were searching for something that was mixed case or you were not sure of the case so let's say, so then if you search for some with s capital you see it says pattern not found with s capital that's because it is it does have something here it just couldn't match the case so the solution is to set ic or ignore case this one if you press set ignore case and now when you search uh, even though you were searching for capital s sum it's matching the lower case or even a, a, any kind of mixed casing still works it's because it's searching ignore case so these are the basics <coughs> of uh, um, the basic commands uh, for vi but let's uh, do some more serious uh, typing okay so i am going to um, match everything that has the word line so i go to this word line press star and now if i want to delete the entire line press dd dd deletes the line if i want to repeat that edit just press dot okay and dot 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 
next dot dot next dot next dot so like this i can keep deleting these lines uh, i can now i can imagine that if i had to wanted to run ls one way is to actually save and quit run ls and come back to this file but that's that forces you to save so how about you suspend this vi session press control z so control z suspends it vi is still running it's just suspended in the background now you can run your ls or whatever else you needed to run now in order to go back to vi you press you type fg fg stands for foreground this is a shell um, feature not vi feature fg uh, so you you're back exactly where you were so control z to suspend and fg to come back to the suspended program so control z again and by the way this is a shell feature if you type jobs you will see what what are the suspended and background processes so this is a background process well this is a suspended pro process vi a background process is still running it's just not occupying your terminal while a suspended process is, is suspended stopped paused but it is uh, capable of running if you put it back in the foreground or maybe put it in the background so fg brings back the vi so this is very helpful control z all right uh, there are obviously a lot more things you can do in vi so vi is a very powerful uh, you know editor there is a lot you can do in fact, I use I like VI so much that I use it as my editor even inside VS Code. So there is a an extension for VI, uh, sorry VI mode for VS Code, VI key bindings for VS Code. So that's what I use because uh, I think I am more productive. I type and I produce the the code changes and effects much faster with VI. There are a lot more vi commands uh, but the, this is just the introduction there is a lot more uh, i think you should familiarize yourself with vi because you might find yourself in production or even in dev environment where uh, you have to uh, log into a linux machine and uh, you have to edit some files at that point in time you feel you might feel a little stuck not knowing vi so learn the basics of vi they are very very useful so this was the tutorial on basics of vim and vi editor hope you learned something